don't want none of this swarmer. Get some! What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at you. So I got some general tips for you today uh, for the Crisis 3 multiplayer. And what I want to show you right off the bat, which I've already kind of discussed on in my topics or my uh, multiplayer tips video I did when the beta came out, is if you notice right when I get into this match, I have the uh, like a, a scope on my gun on the Scar Mod 2 and I really don't like the scope and I forgot to change my class before I joined the match or before we started the match and with Crisis 3 you can change it on the fly so if you notice uh, right when I got into this match I noticed that I had the scope set and all I have to do is hit the back button and you see there if I press the B button it'll cycle through the scopes so basically I've set it to the iron sight I could set it to the reflex sight but I, for some reason, I just, I don't mind. The iron sights are pretty decent on the SCAR Mod 2, and the scopes seem to limit my vision, which I really don't like at all. So I just wanted to get that tip uh, right off the bat at the start of this match here. And uh, so now we'll continue on with the game. So the first, uh, this game type is called Crash Sight. And basically, it drops a pod throughout uh, various points on the map. And you'll notice right away that it dropped the pod actually in their spawn, which is kind of unfair, but, it, you know, it is what it is. And um, so I just wanted to provide some general tips uh, within the multiplayer Crisis 3 to make you a better player. Um, you know, the, the first thing that's really important about Crisis 3 is your nano suit. Uh, you have armor, which is the top gauge, and you have stealth or cloak, which is the bottom gauge in the lower right corner. Now you'll notice that um, I was in cloak, and it uh, it depletes as you have cloak active, so that's not unlimited. And your armor, you can set armor. Notice how I'm jumping around on the crash site. Uh, that's something that you're going to want to do. Movement is very important. In fact, Big Snacks had just done a video uh, with his uh, you know tips for getting better at the game, and you know one of the things that he pointed out was moving around the map. Movement is so critical in this game, uh, just because. You know, you can have people with bows camped out, cloaked anywhere on the map, you know, above you. And you take, you know, you take a, a well-placed arrow to the knee and you're down for the count. So jumping around is going to prevent them from being able to get a clear shot on you. So movement and jumping around around the crash site is, you know, is going gonna, is gonna to help you from getting shot by those cloaked enemies. That's my tip number one. Um... Tip number two, well, I was kind of going into it already, is the nano suit. And basically, you want to always either be in armor or in cloak. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, you have the suit, you need to use it to its full capabilities. So you notice I was cloaked there, and it allowed me to get a nice uh, kill, almost a double kill. And I've already got my max radar and swarmer. So I've gotten five kills and picked up the five tags, which has given me... The Swarmer. The Swarmer is like a multi-rocket rocket launcher. It's really powerful, and um, if you can remain cloaked, you can um, use it, you know, really well in the game. And you're going to see, you know, I get several kills with it. And one thing you got to keep in mind about the the Swarmer is you only have maybe, I don't know, I'm already out of ammo, so I just I dropped it and got rid of it. And notice how I kind of backed away from the crash site just for a moment to kind of gain my bearings. And, um, you know, I had this guy that was sitting in the corner with a bow over there. Uh, come down to the site with a power, or with a, a stomp, with a fist stomp, and allowed me to get my EMP blast. Unfortunately, there was a cloaked guy running right at me, and I didn't even see him. Um, otherwise, I could have possibly gotten to my max nano suit, which is 10 kills in a row. Uh, this is the first time I've gotten an EMP blast. And I just activated it, so now their suits are are basically useless. They're nano suits. They're they're basically like cell operatives. Their you know their suit does nothing for them. <clears throat> this was a stupid choice for me to try to engage with that guy because he was you know he was behind 
the uh, little object there, and he had the advantage. I should have uh, backed away from that gunfight. So that's an, that's another tip about the game um, is, you know, choose your battles wisely. You don't want to always engage on every single, you know, every single gunfight because you're not going to win every single one. You know, you have to you have to really think fast on your feet on whether or not you should continue to engage on a fight or not. You know, and, and, and if you survey the situation quick enough and you're able to make a quick enough decision, you can back away and normally save your life. Because, you know, movement is really fast in this game, and you can run away from a gunfight pretty quick. You can, you know, if you're using, if you're new to the game, I would suggest sticking with auto armor. Um, I'm not using auto armor in this, uh, in this class here because I, I think I've gotten pretty comfortable with setting my own armor, you know, myself. And you notice now I have the armor set when I'm around the crash site because, you know, I want to ensure, you know, if there's nades around or if there's a, a cloaked bow guy that puts a, you know, puts an arrow to me that I have my armor up and it doesn't kill me right off the bat. <clears throat> um, you know, another tip or a tip for playing the crash site game is basically, you know, you don't need to have everybody on the crash site. You really only need one person um, on the crash site to hold it to get your team 50 points for there's you hold it for so many seconds and you are given 50 points first person or first team to 200 wins uh, crash site or the first person or the or when the time limit runs out I should say <clears throat> now that guy was cloaked but I believe I had known he was there because he was on the radar, and he luckily had a headshot on me. So you notice I died pretty quickly. <clears throat> so you know, throughout this game, I'm partied up with a full six, a six, uh, you know, people on my team. Uh, I got Big Snacks, Ryu, um, Dark Knight. Uh, trying to think who else. Wasted Truth is in here, and I don't remember who else. Possibly Chaser Man, which. Um, is somebody one of my subscribers this guy right here has a shield I probably should have left him alone but luckily my teammates uh, came to the rescue and saved me there you know shields are pretty deadly in this game if you come upon somebody at the crash site that has a shield because you can break them off the crash site and use it you know as a as a defense um, you know a defense shield for yourself to it protects against air stomps I believe and they're also projectiles. You can throw shields. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're coming up to a guy that has a shield on, I would suggest not, you know, not engaging with them unless you think that you can nade them or, you know, that they're that you have some help because they can easily throw the shield at you and take you out pretty quickly. Um, so, and another tip that I wanted to provide is gun selection. If you're new to the game, I would strongly suggest picking, you know, one of the more powerful guns. Uh, you know, the Scar Mod 2 is one of the better guns in the game, in my opinion. Its damage is 12 out of 20. It's unlocked at, uh, let me see what level here. Forgive me, I don't have that uh, memorized. <clears throat> the Scar Mod 2 is unlocked at level 27. So you do have a ways, you know, to go to get it. But it's a it's a very very efficient weapon. The iron sights are definitely manageable manageable on it, <clears throat> and you know you're def you're gonna want a strong weapon to use, um, you know, in the game if you're newer to the game. So notice again uh, my my movement and jumping around. <laughs> that time it didn't really help me. The guy had a rocket launcher or a sw oh he had a swarmer. So you know that's pretty hard to avoid. Uh, you know, but. The other one, one of the tips that I was kind of already pointing out on, and I ended up, uh, squirrel, you know, I kind of got sidetracked, was uh, you only need one person on the site. So right now we have three, and our other teammates are trying to hold them back so that the enemies can't even make it to the crash site, you know, so they, so they, don't, they don't engage us on the crash site. We have our teammates, my aim was horrible there. You know, for, with the Scar Mod 2, I would strongly suggest burst firing it, you know, from medium to long range gunfights. You don't want to just hold the trigger down because it does have some pretty some pretty significant kick. Um, the kick on it, let me, let me look here, the stability of it is 10 out of 20. So, 
Um, that basically means, you know, stability means, you know, less recoil. So the higher the stability, the less recoil you're going to have. I don't really know how I didn't win that gunfight there, but <clears throat> I didn't. Oh, well. Oh, because he had a Typhoon. The Typhoon's, you know, rate of fire is so high, it's it's tough to compete with, you know, with, with any gun. So, um, you know, hopefully these tips here provided you some some help, you know, if you're newer to the series. And I just I noticed that there's water on this map and I ended up going in it and swimming. <laughs> this is Central Caverns. It's kind of a neat map. Uh, it's 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 one of the medium to larger maps I would say. And uh, you know, learning learning the maps is another key tip that I wanted to point out. I would strongly suggest going into a private match, and you can just roam around the maps to try and learn all the. There's tons of elevation changes on almost every map. You can jump up on almost any object in the game. Um, you know, with your nano suit, you can jump really high, and so that's uh, definitely something that I really strongly suggest is getting familiar with the maps. You know, you can change the game type to you know crash site or spears and switch up the game type to see where they the spears show up and where the crash sites show up, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. So hopefully these tips were helpful. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more tips, um, you know, and general commentaries of Crisis 3. And give me a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video. And until next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Ubu out.